So, I, I know you've talked about um, that your, your grandmother died recently and that um, you had some unresolved issues with her that uh, you know, you've shared some things that you'd like to express. One thing that, that can be helpful for folks is actually just talking about is to actually address it. Um, it can feel weird, but what we would do is I'd actually ask you to address your grandma um, as if she's here. And then when you feel comfortable, speak from her point of view, uh, have her answer. Okay. And then you can just move whenever you're comfortable. Okay. Um, this may feel a little weird, but I'm gonna kind of assist you in the journey just by kind of being behind as a support. I'm not gonna say anything um, and I'll switch with you, um, okay. but I'll just kind of be off to the side and this can feel a little weird at the beginning, but just, I would say just kind of let yourself go with it. Okay. okay. So this would be grandma and you're just saying whatever you need to. Okay. I really hope that you're not angry. I hope that where you are that you feel unburdened by the challenges of your own life and, um, and feel love for mom and that she can feel that from you and I know that I really wasn't part of your life for the last 10 years of your life and um, and I have some regret about that. I was in your house after you died and I slept in your room in your bed and I saw all your poems and your prayers and pictures of mom and of my sister and me and I could feel love there and I just wanted you to know that there are things about you that I really did and do appreciate. I want you to know that I'm not angry and that I love your mom and that I love you and Amanda and I always have and it was a challenge for me to show it in, in my lifetime and but I want to reach out to your mom and I want her to feel whole and happy and at peace and that I am at peace as well. I think one of the things that I really want to tell you is that I have some beautiful memories of you from childhood when we used to come and stay with you, um, playing in the apple orchard and playing in the basement, riding those Hot Wheels and all the food that you made for us and I felt safe and loved and um, I will always have those fond memories and I just wanted to thank you for those summers and I know that my sister feels the same way those are memories that we will always hold on to um, that I felt a lot of love and that I had a lot of love I know you did and I loved those summers too I love being able to have y'all there and play and cook and take y'all to the park and let y'all play outside and something else that I really appreciated about you um, was that I've always known that you were strong and that a very you were a very you were a very vital um, vibrant woman with a lot of personal power and I always felt that power from you and I always appreciated it and respected it in addition to loving just being there as a kid and I did love going to the park together that was always one of my favorite things to do I just want you to know I'm not holding on to any resentment that I'm in a better place and that place that I'm in is not a place where 
resentment is in my heart and that I love you and your sister and your mom and that it's all going to be okay. So, what are you experiencing in your body? Um, right now I notice that my jaws feel a little tight. Your jaws? Can I ask you to do something? Yeah. And something else that'll feel weird. We're yeah. not, we won't be switching, but um, can you get in touch with the, the tight jaws? Maybe even tighten them even more. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You, you get, in, get in touch with that. What would they say if you were to give your jaws voice? What, what would they say? It's hard because it's not what I want to hear, but. I think they might say that I can't trust that any of that's true. Mm -hmm. I can trust the parts of that are true, and I think the parts that relate to me and the time that we had together in the summer, I can I can trust that that is true, and that and that, that there may have been fondness and love for me, but. I think what I feel in my jaws right now is that there may not have ever really been that for my mom, and there may not even be that now. And so that's kind of a hard pill to swallow, but it's okay. Yeah. Maybe if we can just take a moment just to breathe with that for a moment. The jaws is like, boy, this is what I actually, the interchange I had is what I wanted to hear, but. I'm not so certain that's what what I was feeling. Mm -hmm. I think I just realized that there were things that I wanted to say to her that mm -hmm. that I respected about her, yeah. and um, and that I did feel love. And I think that I think that maybe what the most important thing was was not what exists between or existed between she and my mother is is complicated and is their unique history and I can't change that but I can and it felt good to say you know I felt love and I experienced love and I had appreciation and there were things that I admired about you and that, that was actually the most important part that if it's not resolved between she and my mother then it's just not and that's yeah. their work and that's not mine and it's not even my place right there's, yeah, kind of what I'm hearing you say is it felt good to be able to do what I have control over, yeah. which is to speak yes. to her and, yes. and to bear my heart. Yes. Um, and I may wish for her to have different feelings my mom, but I can't change that. Yes. You know, I can never change others, unfortunately. Yes, yes. Um, 